This is old cow. And this is not a spring chicken. Today we're going to be talking about Christmas is. Ooh. Now I don't know about you, but Christmas is one of my favorite holidays. But for many, Christmas is Christmas is what? Uh, Christmas is no more to a lot of people because it's uh, it's became an uh, it's become a political battle right now. I mean, on the floor of the of the Democratic National Committee uh, the National Convention, they booed the word God. Oh. Yeah, and that basically, I mean, like for instance, we know uh, we know people that are producing a Christmas special. Mm -hmm. that are basically found out this morning that a lot of the people that were supposed to work on a Christmas special more than likely aren't going to be able to work on a Christmas special because the company they work with is on the we don't approve a Christmas list. So therefore you're not going to, here's the trick is, you've got to work on a special that can get you ostracized by the company you're working with. Are, uh, I, mean, they, I mean, they really don't believe in Christmas there, folks. I mean, really, we found that out yesterday. I mean, we, we actually got, we were, uh, I'm going to explain this in real simple terms is, I can't tell you the name of the company that said this, uh, we don't do Jew holidays. I know, that was pretty disgusting. And that a government, that. we don't do Jew holidays. And, <laughs> it's not a Jewish holiday. Hanukkah, yes, Christmas is the Christian uh, holiday. But it, it has, the most politically incorrect word to people in the universe. I mean, it's politically, it is totally incorrect to a million, a billion and a half people in the world and to a political party in our nation. Yeah, but see, part of it is, is the United States was founded on Christian values. That's why we have... Actually, it was founded upon, the United States was founded upon uh, an open religious system where and everybody... Say, in God we trust. In God right? we trust. But, um, I, I'm, I'm going to try to explain. Well, that's it. right, because they did have religious persecution. Yeah, that's why they came here, a lot of them. But I, I, I worked on a movie play called Run of the Arrow with Rod Steiger and Ralph Meeker and um, and Charles Bronski, who became Charles Bronson. And uh, um, I played an Indian naturally, folks. You know, mm -hmm. got these big, the blue green eyes. So I played the half breed. But I, I, one of the big scenes in the movie, Rod Steiger wanted to become an Indian, but he didn't want to give up his faith in God. And then Charles Bronski became Charles Bronson, basically asked him, do you believe in one God? He said, yes, do you believe in this, do you believe that? And he said, same God, just a different name. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. I mean, you're, I mean, most of what you're talking about is the same thing, just called by a different name, and people choose to worship in our country in God-awful amount of different forms. I mean, you can actually believe in God and absolutely hate the church. I mean, which is sort of an oxymoron, but it is the truth. You have people, you have atheists that totally believe in a higher deity, but totally hate the church. Because they think the church is something that isn't, that has no relationship to a person's faith. The church does not. And um, you have religions that are basically usurped by other people that basically, they'll pick, they cherry pick parts of the religion in order to be able to say that this is what they said. Well, no, they didn't say that. But so, you know, to a billion and a half people in the world and to the Democratic Party, the word Christ is really a nasty, naughty word. And um, I, got, I, I got a question for everyone out there. Who actually runs most of the major corporations and businesses in the United States of America? Who? Oh. Democratic Party does. The Republicans don't tend to be big businessmen. There are a few. I know. Isn't that kind of funny? Because people always think of Republicans as big business. No, they're, they're not. not. Republicans are small business. I mean, Republicans stick up for. They, I think Republicans. Uh, okay, here's the way it works. A long time ago, you, you know, if, uh, if you stand up for business, you're standing up for America, because America is not. America is not J.P. Morgan. America is Paul Morgan, a shoemaker. America is not um, Dun and Bradstreet. America is uh, a, a telephone installer. Mm -hmm. That's America. It's not big business. It is the little guy out there, because the little guys all together uh, make it possible for the big business to get. And then most people also don't understand. That when you try to shut down a business, a big business, you're also hurting the people that own the company, which are the little guys. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, like, um, 
Oh, like all these people, they're going, well, we're against Wall Street. Well, Wall Street is the one that helps all the retirement funds for all yeah. those unions. They, right? they basically, every union uh, funds, or, uh, you know, it's Wall Street. You attack insurance companies. Insurance companies have a very low profit margin, but insurance companies are heavily in, you know, they're basically in everybody's in, retirement in funds. In retirement fund. Because, uh, you know, we, we digressed a bit, but did you realize that people that were making $3,000 on, uh, on, on pensions based upon stocks, are, are some of them basically, they've lost so much money uh, because of the attacks on Wall Street and stuff, that they're, that $3,000 a month is now hitting um, $200 a month. You can't sustain it on that, but it's just, um, like I said, it is, the attack, it's not an attack on Christmas, no matter what people say, it is not an attack on the holiday because you don't, if, if you theoretically, most of the people out there don't realize it, but businesses actually do have ethics, folks. They really do have ethics. They, they don't like you, they won't take your money, period. I mean, remember, so. I always like those people that don't support blood diamonds. That's right. But they all, but if they accept the money, they'll sell, they'll do business with you. I mean, uh, you know, they, they'll, they'll sell you commercials on their television stations, radio, and in their publications, even though they don't support Christmas. Do you, do you think part of it is that people are so afraid of offending other religions that they don't support Christmas? Well, uh, it, 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 uh, what happened is, is after 2,000 years, Chris, uh, the Christ part of Christmas has went out of favor. Because there are a billion and a half people that support one religion, and maybe that many that support other religions. The Christian religion is basically, you know, on a, on a roll of, of religions, all the others are up here, and the Christian religion is down there. And they, and then there's also the power that they have. The um, one set of people own, they have, they actually don't control the large oil anymore. The United States does, but our, we're not allowed to drill to get the oil to stop that. So as long as um, uh, the people who control the purse strings basically control a lot of things. China doesn't believe in Christmas, and China controls a lot of the purse strings in the United States. They also manufacture a lot of the Christmas toys Yeah. and decorations. But you know, if you want to celebrate Christmas like Christmas is meant to be celebrated, go to the Soviet Union. <laughs> Anybody remember St. Nicholas is a Greek Orthodox saint? Jolly St. Nicholas is from, you know, a Greek Orthodox person. They know how to celebrate Christmas in the Soviet Union. We simply no longer, I mean, they'll decorate. I mean, you ought to see the Kremlin at that time of year. It's, this lit up like you would not believe. But um, the White House basically is, they got, the, most of the trappings are gone now. They have the big tree. They have, it's not as, you know, the, the networks, when was the last time you really saw the networks <clears throat> and cable really go whole hog for Christmas specials? That's a very good question. I'm sitting here racking my brain on. When was that? The majority it's of been them, a or, while. The majority of the, the Christmas specials are 30 years old. 30. That long ago? Yeah. Um, okay, you look at the Polar Express. The Polar Express, I think, is is the newest Christmas thing, the newest big Christmas thing. I think it's, but that's like a decade old, I think. Wait. The, the, you know, the thing, the Christmas. What about Santa Claus with Tim Allen? Uh, Tim Allen, they're, they're, the first one was more than a decade ago. And the, and the uh, so, but, um, but that, the first one was a classic, the others were just knockoffs. Mm -hmm. But um, you don't see, uh, you, you see Christmas specials done on one channel on cable primarily, which is the country western, you know, the uh, country, CMH, Metro Association. They favor Christmas heavily. But doesn't ABC do their like the 25 days of Christmas or something? Yeah. But those are all old shows, aren't they? I know. No, this, uh, it, is a, it is a family channel does these things, mm -hmm. but they also will stick in a new Christmas movie. They'll have one like the entire thing, you know, like a... Mostly what they're doing is, uh, it's, it's just like they did the Halloween things with Debbie Reynolds. They made like four of them. They'll pick some character out, like, you know, Mrs., you know, Santa Claus's son, Santa Claus's daughter. Santa, you know, Santa's daughter gets married. Santa's daughter has a kid. Santa's, you know, kid basically causes problems. But if you look, I mean, 
virtually every great Christmas movie is from the past. Um, uh, you know, the, like most of the Christmas movies, anything you see related with Christmas today is sort of cynical, like it's a wonderful life, which I actually was in that, folks. I was in a lot of things. I did a lot of Christmas stuff when I was young. I danced in Christmas things. I sang in Christmas things. I was in, I was in Christmas westerns, for Christ's sake. I did. I, I was in a, I was in a, first time I had met, met Anthony Caruso, he was playing in a Christmas special, a Christmas movie that won an Academy Award. He said, well, I won, I, I won the Academy Award. I won the Academy Award. I was in a movie. He thought that we had a debate. But no, um, most of the great things have been done in the past because of political correctness. I mean, like you said, uh, it, it is... Most have been done because of political correctness? No, most were done, they're no longer being done because of political correctness. We're, we're simply, if I asked a question to everybody, we'd like a response, what Christmas is. That's what we're trying to do, to get you... To, to think about Christmas. Christmas, send us... You know, it doesn't make any difference. If you don't like Christmas, then tell us you don't like it. I mean, first of all, most people that don't like Christmas, they really aren't afraid of telling you they don't like Christmas. Mm -hmm. So this isn't, well, you're trying to find out who doesn't like it. No, we're trying to just get find out people. Who likes, we want people to express if they like Christmas. Yeah, and if they don't like it, it's called, you know, it's just something that, Okay, we have a we have a political party in our nation that doesn't believe in freedom of speech. They try they're basically they tried to get the people that this thing is going on to remove a video that didn't violate the terms of the company. You know, if you gotta either believe in freedom of speech or not, you believe in freedom of speech, you want the people that are on the left to tell you what they don't like about Christmas. Maybe if you get a dialogue between the people that don't like it and the people that do like it, you actually might be able to solve the problem. Well, that's part of it with freedom of speech. You listen to both sides. Yeah, if you won't listen, um, okay, um, here's another one, a comic. How do you tell a Republican from a Democrat? Uh, uh, Republicans, basically, Republicans are willing to listen to both sides. Democrats only have one side, that's theirs. I mean, I saw that issue being done last night on television where, you know, a gentleman from the Democratic Party wouldn't let the Republicans speak. And it was his show. So they took over the show. But, um, you know, Christmas is, I mean, we'll, we, we did a thing a few years ago about the last Christmas. And basically it looks like, in reality, that was the last Christmas because you're not, I mean, when was the last time you saw big Christmas displays in stores? I can't remember it. Um, uh, it used to be that every window was painted. I used to paint windows on my house and so that people could see it. We, we don't even put the stuff up on the windows here anymore because in this neighborhood, no one, I mean, you have Christmas lights, but not as many as you used to have. You no longer even have the quality of lights you used to be able to buy. You used to have the flashers and dancing and things that would say Merry Christmas, or they play, they play, I can't sing the song because they don't allow it to be, you know, this funny part is that the people that make the money off of Christmas music do not allow the Christmas music to be heard. Oh, now that's kind of funny. Yeah. Because, really kind of funny. because there are media companies that don't believe in Christmas, so. Oh, yes, that other entity. That other entity. You, you know, that you can actually get sued for, um, you know, Santa Claus is coming to town, Frosty the Snowman, Jingle Bells, actually Jingle Bells I think is all right. But it, but what happens is if you use an arrangement that they own, they then sue you. So, mm -hmm. but, um, you know, Bill O'Reilly basically tried to point, he wrote a book about the war on Christmas and basically it's been buried because as we understand there are more, pe more companies today that won't allow Christmas in their stores or in their business than there are the companies that will. The war is being won by the other side. Mm -hmm. Because it, it also, if you believe in something and won't stand up for it, you actually deserve to lose it. Just that simple. If you want them, um, that uh, it's sort of like, uh, uh, what is a soldier? A soldier that, that bleeds and dies for his country that has forgotten that the day of war is over. That's Christmas. Christmas basically has uh, it's become so commercial that people have forgotten the reason behind the holiday. And because of that, they're not willing to stand up. Well, I'm not going to stand up so that somebody can make 50 cents off of me. 
that's not the reason behind holiday. I mean, they celebrate Christmas in Japan and um, in lots of Asian countries because it is a, it's a, you know, it's a commercial holiday and they're no longer so. Since you no longer celebrate it for the right reason, why are you trying to stop it from being celebrated for the wrong reason? So I, I guess this has got to be a continued thing. So until next time, this is old camp. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For more information, you can go to www.montybubble.net on the net. And wherever you're watching, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D, and follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and thank you once again for over 250 million links on the internet. And come to our news site, www.mbnnewsvideoweb.com.